So what is a story? A story is what happens affects someone who's trying to achieve what turns out to be a difficult goal and how he or she changes as a result. So a story isn't just something that happens to someone or, or something, it's something that transforms the reader's view on a certain issue by giving them a glimpse into someone else's perspective. And that's why it's powerful for advertising because if we can use a story to transform the reader's view about our own product or service by giving them a glimpse at it through another perspective, then that is going to let them experience the product and service before they even try it in real life. So experiencing something, trying something out, increases the desire for it. So having that power of the story to let them experience, and then that will increase the desire, and that's how the story-driven marketing works. The what happens in the quote is basically the plot. So that's the series of events that you're talking about. The someone is the protagonist. Now the protagonist doesn't need to be a person, it can be a product, it can be any aspect of your business. The goal is generally something that needs to be achieved or some obstacle that needs to be overcome. And the story is really the change, so how he or she changes as a result. So we'll have a quick look at some brand stories and the types of brand stories you can tell for your brand. There's origin stories. So this is a picture of Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak creating a home computer in their garage. So this is the origin of Apple. And this origin story is really effective because it shows how these two guys defied the odds of success by starting this little company in their garage and they built this humongous empire. Defying these odds actually evokes empathy in people because it makes it more real, it makes it more relatable. It doesn't make Apple a huge corporation. It, makes it takes it back to something personal and relatable. And that's why this origin story works in this case. Then there's corporate history stories. So that's basically when you, uh, perhaps on your About Us page, when you really kind of um, talk about your corporate history, what makes your brand what it is. And I've just got Red Bull up here because the beautiful thing with stories is that they don't actually have to be perfectly related to your business at all. So Red Bull is an example of this where the stories they tell are all related to extreme sports, which has not much to do with energy drinks. So Red Bull identified extreme sports as being the avenue of content marketing that will most likely resonate with their audience. But what kind of content can you create around an energy drink? Not all that much, right? So what Red Bull did was they created content around other things that interest this target audience. Closer to home, we've got Kush Coffee telling mission stories. So this is basically a service to humanity story showing your uh, social corporate responsibility. So the way Kush does this is telling the story about how they source their beans from organic fair trade producers, how all the beans are shade grown. They tell the story about why it's important to have shade grown beans, why shade grown beans are better than sun grown beans and all these things. Product stories are, for instance, what Pick tells around his peanut butter. So he tells a story of why he even created the peanut butter. So it was something along the lines of sitting with his brother somewhere having, having peanut butter and he ate it and his brother was like, well, this is pretty good. And he said, no, it's, it doesn't taste right and looked and it was full of sugar. And then basically like, you know, he, he tells the story of how he just searched and searched and searched and none, none of the peanut butters were healthy enough or good enough and he thought why can't there just be a peanut butter that's just peanuts and you know overcoming this uh, this personal battle with peanut butter of none of them were good and so on and then kind of doing something about it and that's the product story about how Pix peanut butter came to be. So you can tell a lot of different stories around your product, you can tell the stories about the product inventor so that's you know, you yourself, you can tell how the product came into being, what was the motivation, how the product is made. Um, so that's especially if you have special sort of ingredients out of, you know, but out of the ordinary, if you have the sustainable 
um, ingredients or if you have the fair trade or any of these things. You can tell stories about if there's rare ingredients contained in the product. So that's um, some of these things like the special coffee that's gone through the animal and so on. <laughs> uh, you can have a story about uh, the product's discovery. Some products are more discovered, you know, where you stumbled upon a system that worked and you've turned it into a book or, you know, the, the discovery itself. Um, or the story of someone using your product. So that would be the consumer stories. And this one is also an example from Pick, who tells the consumer stories, but he doesn't have a thing on his website saying testimonial. He does also have testimonials, but he's actually got a page and it's called Athletes Powered by Pix Peanut Butter. And it's got all these athletes on it and then it, it gives them their in individual stories. So it says, for instance, George Bennett. Nelson Ladd, George Bennett is a New Zealand professional road racing cyclist who currently rides for a blah, blah, blah team. So the next type of story in marketing is advertising stories. The left one is the Vodafone Piglet commercial. So that's an example of a story ad, and the right one was a lotto commercial. Then there's lead generation stories. Now these are the ones that are often used on Facebook. So it looks a bit like this, a lot of the case. If you click see more, you'll get a Facebook post this long, and it's going on to describe in great detail about four years ago, I started my business from the bedroom with no more than $50, blah, blah, blah. And it really paints this picture, and some of them do it quite well. And then if you come to the very bottom, then they're trying to get you to sign up to their lead magnet. And then there's sales stories. So sales stories is uh, where the things that we've talked about in the past also come in. So this is so the sales story is the pitch. It's the pitch that we've talked about from the very beginning. It's where you actually make a case for your product or service. So you can do that using the attention, interest, desire, action. You can use the problem, agitation, solution, outcome, the before, after bridge. There's lots of different ways to actually structure your pitch um, in terms of it still being a story. So this, you, this is definitely some structures that you can structure your story along. A story isn't anything completely different to all the other writing we've been talking about. So you can tell a story along these structures.